My parents were addicts when I was a teenager. About the time that I was 15, 16, it got pretty bad and our family kind of splintered apart. My brothers and I were bounced back and forth between different family members or friends of family members, really fearful that teachers or someone was going to find out that, you know, my parents were addicts and we, you know, might be separated or um, taken by the ministry. It was really lonely. I spent a lot of time making sure that everyone else was okay and not really focusing on myself at all. Um, I very nearly dropped out of high school. I barely managed to graduate um, just because I had so much else going on, you know, making lunches, getting kids to school, you know, trying to figure out where we were going to stay for the night. We eventually ended up with my grandparents at the end of it. So there was a little bit more stability as I was graduating, but it was tumultuous. My mom coming in and out. Sometimes we wouldn't even know where she was for weeks or months at a time. The darkest moment during my parents' addiction and my mom's addiction was just watching her spiral after I had moved out of the house and she went completely missing for three months. Um, and, you know, just taking calls from people, just wondering where she was, you know, um, trying to help my youngest brother because he was only like nine or ten at the time when she had gone missing. Um, and just not knowing if she was alive or dead, just really struggling with that because, you know, throughout her addiction, I had always, you know, maybe not been able to have her come home with me, but just try to make sure that she was okay, had a little bit of money for food, just trying to hold on as much as possible, trying to have as much contact as possible. Um, and she just, yeah, completely disappeared. My mom says, I got clean on December 27th, 2011, and I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt that I could not have done it without Megan. Megan has been to every meeting that I've achieved a milestone in my recovery. Megan has given me cards for each of these milestones, telling me that I inspire her and I'm truly a hero in her eyes. The truth is that if the world is looking for a hero, then Megan is who they're looking for. She's had faith in me when I didn't have faith in myself. She uses the strength that I give her to help other people. It was actually really important, I think, for me to hear these things as like a lesson, you know, to help and just love people. In the last four years, I've really been getting to know myself. In the last year, um, I decided that I wanted to go back to school. I watched my brother through all of his football and getting scholarships for school and he made it through school and now he works with disadvantaged kids. I wanted to go into a field where I was also making a difference. The part of me that I worked on was just having the confidence to start. I took a job as a casual tenant support worker. So when I came to Stenberg and saw that there was a program that highlighted all of this work that I was doing for this other particular community, it really just kind of blew up. The program was intense, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I learned so many different things. It was all very compact. I think some of my favorite moments were actually the time that we got to spend in class. And one of the tasks that our instructor had us do was put on glasses with Vaseline um, and to try to put together a puzzle. That was one of those aha moments where it was like, oh, okay, all of this learning that we've been doing to learn about a person-centered approach and how to you know, adapt certain activities. That was the moment for me where I was like, this is what it means, is to take this knowledge, experience it firsthand, and be able to move forward. In practicum, I learned about myself that I had that care and I had that empathy and all of these things that I had learned through my struggles, I could carry forward with me. The whole experience was just so life-changing. I felt lighter at the end of the program. I felt like, you know, I could take all of these tools that I had learned and I could really start building something. And the whole time that I was doing my program, I just thought of the moment where, you know, I was going to be walking across that stage. I was going to be a graduate. Just how 
awesome it was gonna feel. Once I got halfway through the program, I thought, wow, like look at all of the amazing things that I can do for other people. Look at all of the gifts and skills and strengths and values that I have that I can take into the world and I can show other people, like, hey, you can do this. You just have to decide. You just have to say to yourself, I can, and ignore you know, the doubt and the fear and just go for it. Give it your all, jump right in.